Hey everybody and welcome to the TWE Tea Log. And this tea log is about. First of all, some achievements have been made. Like for instance, we got to see Rainbow Dash here. We saw her parents for the first time. And that, uh, what a way, what a way to see them. <laughs> it was certainly worth the wait, let's just say that. Because <laughs> Rainbow Dash's parents were absolutely brilliant. They were amazing and they were just great. I was just so proud of their daughter, cheering every time Rainbow was even appearing in the uh, Wonder Bolts and stuff like that. Noticing that their uh, daughter is in, in the Wonder Bolts and Scootaloo's scream when she saw uh, Bo, Bo Hot Hooves and then Windy Whistles for the first time ever breaking her Celestia plates, it's, it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Next we saw Apple Jacks, Big Macs, and Apple Bloom's parents. And the song that Pear Butter sings to Bright Mac, You're in my head like a catchy song. Oh my gosh. Sweet Celestia, what a song that was. Oh, wow, that was... We should have had our handkerchiefs or t t tissues at the time because, wow, that was... We didn't see that coming. It was like, wow. Okay, Pear Butter, we can see that you love Bright Mac so much. It was... Yeah, it was it was really good. It was really good. Next, the interesting thing, Fluttershy almost, almost at my tree. And in health of information, that would have been possible. I won't say how, but I think the ones who have seen that episode will know how it happens. And finally, the season 7 finale, we get to see Starswell the Bearded for the first time. It took, oh, I don't know, seven seasons for him to become an actual pony. Maybe we got to see Twilight Idol, uh, Starswell the Bearded, and even Celestia's idol, Starswell the Bearded, because she was pretty starstruck a little bit with uh, Starswell the Bearded, but she had to be professional about it, and she managed to hold off her nerves just, well, way, way better than Twilight anyway. The season 7 finale was uh, really good to watch, it, it was, because it had the adventure, it had the suspense, it had the didn't see that one coming sort of thing. And it had uh, many other ponies in, in pony folklore, like, uh, I can't think of their names in the top of my head, but the pony who cured the Black Plague like virus on healthcare information. The Egyptian pony in. Daring Dunn. She was quite hot, by the way, wasn't she? <laughs> In Campfire Tales, we saw the Viking Scottish like pony. And we saw Flash Magnus, and he was like the Roman based pony. Kind of like Flash Fortune. And oh yeah, that seemed like uh, let's just decide to change the name. You know, like they did with uh, the first um, Daring Do book. In the beginning of Read It and Weep, it said Daring Do and the Quest of the Sapphire Stone. 
and then toward the end of the episode it the name changed to the quest of the sapphire statue now I don't know if that happens in the season 7 finale because I think it kind of did because on the one where Pinkie Pie knows on season 6 season 6? yeah season 6 uh, Shining Armour had a poster on a wall which looked like the pony that Rainbow was wor working with but he was called Flash Fortune now I don't know if they decided to change the name a little bit on season 7 and called him Flash Magnus so I think I think I think there's been pretty name switches again on that one those were the really good moments of the season 7 finale next thing there were so many VA, new VAs on this season so many like for instance Sarah Edmondson as Robert Windy Whistles uh, Jason DeLine as Bro Hot Hooves Bill Newman as Bright Mac and Felicia Day as Pear Butter and many other new VAs that voiced the ponies along the way. Now Bill Newman was also the voice of the Pony of Shadows which apparently was a real legend. It was real. <laughs> um, Rainbow and Applejack were convinced that it wasn't real on Castlemania. They were proven that it wasn't real, but in fact it was real. And the Pony of Shadows happens to be a little tiny pony that looked like a uh, pipsqueak or feather featherweight in a way. And being Star Swirl, uh, he didn't understand friendship like Twilight did, decided we'll work this alone or something like that. He cast him aside and then he didn't like the fact that he was cast aside and he later then became the Pony of Shadows. And there was a callback on the season finale as well the, um, because when Celestia said Now we get into the not so great things about season 7. First of all, it wasn't what I was expecting because I was thinking maybe this was the time where Starlight becomes a new member of the, of the main 6 and then becomes the main 7. But that didn't turn out that way. So I was pretty disappointed at that. The next thing, at Twilight Velvet's voice, I was pretty disappointed in that as well because in my mind I didn't think hiring another VA for Twilight Velvet was necessary because they, they already had the voice of Twilight Velvet, and that was Sarah Strong. Now, now I know that the new voice of um, Twilight Velvet did a good job. I mean, she did. She did a great job. But I'm sure Tara Strong could have done it the same way. Because she she is a very talented actress, you know. she's She's got hundreds and thousands of voices in her head like Bubbles, Ben 10, Ben Tennyson, Timmy Turner, Dill Pickles, etc. 
but uh, I did like Once Upon a Zeppelin, I loved it, but I was disappointed with the voice of um, Twilight Velvet. Thought and final rankings of Season 7. To me, I don't think it's the most remembered of seasons because in past seasons we had Twilight becoming a princess we had Twilight have her castle ca uh, the castle of friendship thanks to the battle with uh, Lord Tyrek we also had that suspense of a moment of when Starlight was so close of shredding the time spell of Starswell the Bearded and nearly wiped uh, Equestria off the face of the earth <laughs> or whatever it is um, but uh, later on she became Twilight's pupil and in season six a certain pony who drains the love of ponies of Equestria and feeds it to her subjects vowed revenge to Starlight Glimmer will that happen? it may happen it may but with this one not what I expected not what I expected because I told you about it earlier and to give it my final rating I would probably give it 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 now I'm going to end this video stay tuned because hopefully you're going to be wowed by my videos that are going to come like this generosity i'm here to show all that i can give generosity i'm here to set the bar just sit back and watch how i live and stay tuned I will reveal the winners of My Pony of the Year 2017. Yes, so I'll end this video now by say, saying with my other T Log videos Bro Hoof and goodbye.